state legislative races often come down to just partisan identification. Uh, and there's a, you know, there's a connection between sort of how s strongly the governor is running. Um, and in this case, the governor's a Democrat, so that's gonna affect Democrats down ballot. The fate of the governor is in some ways linked to the popularity of the president in this cycle because the president is a Democrat. And so these things are connected. Um, the redistricting of the state legislative districts um, has, it will affect things at the margins. I mean, it may make things a little bit more competitive for one side or the other, you know, uh, but I don't expect there to be much of a change in, in the legislature in terms of the balance, uh, the division between the Republicans and the Democrats. I think fully expect that Democrats to hold on to the, the uh, majority in both the, the House and the Senate. Um, now, if something were to go really south uh, in terms of the governor's race, then that might affect you know, some races in, on the st state legislative side. Um, similarly, uh, uh, you, know, you, expect, you expect similar things uh, on the, in, in, with the congressional district, especially congressional district two, which is more democratic than it used to be. It's more competitive for the, for the Democrats this cycle. Um, it, it's a higher profile race. And so the, sort of the popularity of the, the popularity of the, um, the governor and popularity of the president may matter a little bit less because people have more information about the race in, in, in CD2. Um, but still, overall, overall, this is a, this is a bad cycle for Democrats. You know, it's, it's the, it's the midterm race. It's the first midterm uh, and the party in power is usually vulnerable. So it's, a, it's, it's not a good cycle for Democrats and they're gonna try and do their best to limit their losses and hang on to the seats they've got and uh, pick up new ones where they, where they can. Uh, but even if the Democrats were to pick up Congressional District 2 in New Mexico, there's that broader national environment that's um, likely to lead to Republicans taking over the House majority. So, um, so we'll have, you know, we, we could theoretically have a, uh, an entirely Democratic um, delegation uh, where the Democrats are in the minority in the House of Representatives.